Um, hello again, everyone. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about my ride yesterday on California Highway 25, which I'll outline. See the 25? <laughs> okay, it starts right here. See where it says Hollister? Pretty much you would grab it. If it's heading southbound, you'd grab it around the Hollister, and you would come down southbound. You can, If you're in a motorcycle, you can continue on this one down to where the San Miguel Mission is. Connecting back to the 101, Camp Roberts military installations there. You can take this road. I, I, I believe you can do it on a four-wheeled vehicle. Not a four-wheel drive, but like a regular sedan. But um, I guess it's narrow and people drive kind of fast on it. I didn't do that. What I did is that I came on Hollister, came through here on the 101. I went to Mission San Juan Bautista, which was very tranquil and quiet. It has a great little town. We didn't get time to check it out, but I will be back. A uh, little bit of congestion actually coming in and out of Hollister, but once you get on this stretch, this has got to be the best motorcycle road I have been on in my life. And I just got done doing the whole entire West Coast from Santa Monica, California to the Canadian border. Uh, uh, highway 1 as much as I could north, and then 101 and Highway 1 south. I'm currently here at Fort Hunter Liggett. Um, I'm retired military, so I'm staying at a military lodging there. Um, a little bit about this Highway 25. Um, I also did a round trip Route 66, and although I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it, this Highway 25 is the type of road that you're on, and there is no stopping. There's hardly any turnouts. There's a national park here. I think it has some RV parking possibilities, and there's, an, there's a thousand trails park uh, RV camp somewhere in here also. Other than that, there is literally hardly any even turnouts to stop. This is a 74 mile stretch from Hollister to right about San Lucas, where I got back on the 101 or I crossed over to Fort Hunter Liggett. What's important to know about that 74 miles, there is nothing, nothing. I mean nothing. There's pavement below you and animals. That's about it. Not even a stop sign. I am not kidding. <laughs> so if you're going to do 74 miles, whatever your fuel economy or, or, or mileage is, make sure you gas up in Hollister. If you're heading southbound, Hollister is your last chance to get gas. And um, northbound, I guess, would be San Lucas. Or if you jump on at this first south, southern section right here in the San Miguel area is where you want to get gas. Um, I want to give a shout out to two guys. I, I, I did find one spot to pull over, um, do a quick video. And, oh, man, Reese and, and oh, I just forgot. Oh, man, it's not... Brandon, it's not Bronson. I want to say, oh, I want to say Braddock. Braddock? Uh, Reese and Braddock came out, check on us, made sure we were okay. Thanks a lot for your hospitality and um, making sure that uh, travelers in your area are, are taken care of. They mentioned a few things. Um, people have run out of gas there. There have been people that don't um, overcompensate on the S curves and uh, wreck. So watch those S curves. Uh, it's mainly straight. There's not a lot of curves. I mean, you, you are just alone and you're flying. We saw very few vehicles the whole time. He also said that once in a while a semi will take it thinking that it's an easy road and the semis, it's a very narrow road, very narrow. I mean, RVs would have a hard time negotiating if they were coming in opposite directions of each other. You'd greatly have to slow down, especially on a curve. Well, I think one RV at a time could probably take that curve. Um, you go sometimes semis come through and they, they kind of wreak havoc. Also, uh, there is a lot of wildlife. I had a deer cross my path, but not dangerously. It was kind of cool, it was kind of close, but it wasn't dangerous. Um, yeah, but he did say pigs, and I'm imagining wild pigs um, hang out in the brush and, and they'll come out. And he said, we, you know, a couple get killed, they'll get killed once in a while. If you're on a motorcycle, that means you're going down. Who knows what your extent of your injuries are gonna be. And you probably will kill the pig, but those were my, those are the words of caution they gave me is, is uh, make sure you have gas, uh, make sure you don't um, underestimate the S-curves when they do come to them, although there's not a lot, and uh, and just enjoy, enjoy. I mean, it's, it's once again, right here, this Highway 25, 74, I would say 74 to maybe 80 mile stretch, um, truly uh, the best. I was told this about this route, from two guys I met up in the Redwoods, they were doing a Highway 101 and one also. They were on, um, one was on a KTM, one was on a GS. And they said, yeah, if you're going southbound, 
you got to do this 25. And I'll, I'll be doing it again, that, that's for sure. Um, next time I do it, though, I think I'm going to start here. I'll probably get a room at Camp Roberts. And then I'll just trek up here because I'm curious what this would be like on the KLR. I think that I would, I would be fine. I'm imagining that's a dirt road. Um, but once again, that's a California State Highway 25. You can saw, so California State Highways are designated because they're circles. So there's Hollister. That's where you'd want to fill up with gas. So the, see the circle? That designates a California State Highway just as the one is a circle. And um, it's a circle on the map, but it's like a little acorn looking thing. Um, I was looking for another California State Highway, but there's one. And it's, the only thing it looks like on the 25, when it comes down here, this is just a road. It's not state maintained, so there's no 25 identifier there. So 198's a state. This was also a cool ride too, by the way. I mean, I have no idea what it'd be like going out to Koalinga, but this ride at this juncture, it was the same terrain. It's just rolling hills, uh, farmland, um, cattle land. Um, unbelievable. You don't even think you're in California. It's sites I've never seen before. And then you come over here and you're back to Main Highway. All right. Uh, if you get a chance, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, right after this, I'm splicing in one of the shots where I was actually on 25 with my daughter doing some filming. All right, take care. Next up is a um, on location on Highway 25. Bye. Hey everybody, I got to do a quick video. I got earplugs in because we got to keep going. There's Stefania, but I'm on Highway California Highway 25. I started in Hollister, California, and it was a little town. You know, you got to drive through it, whatnot. This is 74 miles of open strip. 70, this was the only place to stop right here to even do pictures or photos. I saw one national park and 1,000 trails RV park. But other than that, 74 miles of just me and the road. Uh, some of these ranches are out here. I never knew there would be a part of California like this. Um, it goes from Hollister, I think, Jolon, J-O-L-O-N is where I'm going to end up at. But if you decide to do this in any vehicle, especially a motorcycle, make sure you're filled with gas on either end. 74 miles, and I'm telling you, I haven't seen another car. I've seen farm. I've seen cows. Um, I think maybe one or two cars past Stefania and I go in the opposite direction. No one traveling in the same direction. It's about, I think we're, I think we're about 6 p.m. right now, so the sun is setting, and I definitely want to be done with this. There's the sun, sun setting. I do want to be out of here before it's dark because there's no illumination, and it's just too beautiful to just concentrate on your headlights as you go through the, through the pass. Um, but I'm not sure how many miles more we have to go. But if you, get a, if you ever get a chance, and I'll, I'll try to follow this video up on a map, um, if you ever get a chance on a motorcycle to do Highway 25 between Joe Lawn and uh, uh, Hollister, um, it's well worth it. I thought I'd see a lot of motorcycles. When Stefania and I were up at the Redwoods at a hotel, um, motel, there were two other motorcyclists that just got done doing the Lost Coast and some of uh, Highway 1 and um, they, uh, they're they the ones that told me about this. They go, oh, if you're going southbound, you gotta hit 25. I'm coming back up here. I'm gonna do this again. Um, Hector and uh, my buddy Greg um, not my, I have a lot of friends named Greg now. <laughs> Let's just say uh, Africa Twin Greg. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, the funny thing is when I was heading south from Washington State Greg was heading north, and we were both in Marin County at the same time, but uh, he's probably home by now, or Stefania and I are going to be staying the night at Fort, uh, Fort Hunter Liggett, where um, I'll do a video a little bit of that tomorrow, but when I was in the California Army National Guard, I did some training out there at Fort Hunter, Hunter Liggett, so uh, this is just a quick little video. I had to stop, stretch my legs. Um, there's the there's Stefania's car, there's my KLR. Go. I mean, I, I hope you guys are enjoying it. It looks like this would be fake background, but this is what I've been driving through for the last 45 minutes. And you would think, you would think by now you would hear a car in the background. 
but there's nothing. It's just quiet. I don't even know where these people. I thought I'd get shooed away by now. Let me go out to the road real quick and show you guys. Uh, apologize if I'm talking loud. I think I'm trying to compensate for the earplugs. So why don't I take them out? Because it takes forever to get them in all the time. So this is the road. Very well maintained, by the way. This is a very well maintained state highway, Highway 25. So watch, I'm gonna, now, now the cars are gonna come as I stand out here in the middle of the road. So there's that. This is amazing, guys. If you're a motorcycle rider, you gotta do it. You gotta do uh, Highway 25. Well, this says, uh, I can't see the name. Sam's Topo Ranch. Sam's Topo Ranch, that's where I'm at. All right, I gotta get back on the bike. We gotta make some, make up some ground. Like I said, I just couldn't stop. I couldn't stop without doing a quick video of this. All right, take care everybody. Enjoy, I know I'm enjoying, bye.